backpack. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, I see you there. I, I see you. You think I don't see you? Right in that comment, that hate comment? Um, yeah, just letting you know, this video, personal opinion. Everything I'm saying is a personal opinion. Don't take it too seriously. Really, it's just a game. Yes, I don't like Ocarina of Time, but I'm going to kind of explain why I don't like Ocarina of Time in this video. So if you actually care to listen to why I don't like it, stick around. Please don't just leave hate stuff without actually watching the content to see why I hate it, or why I don't like the game. And just because I don't like the game, it doesn't mean that the game is bad. It just means that I don't like it. I think it sucks. But why is that? Well, that's what this video is for. So make sure to actually stay tuned and stick around. Maybe you'll learn something. Let's go back into the intro. Zach Pack, he's always there for you. Zach Pack, only on YouTube. Zach Pack, what will he do next? Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So firstly, I want to point out that the game room is coming along beautifully. So if you want to see what my game room is going to look like in a few weeks' time, stick around, hit that subscribe button, and also, for those of you who don't know, I hate plugging this, I have a Patreon page. If you want to become a patron of the channel, go to the, uh, the description down below and hit the, little, the link. I have a link there to my Patreon page. And you can become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Any little bit that you can help with this channel, it will help immensely. I really want to make my videos good quality for you guys, and hopefully I can do that if you guys use Patreon. But you don't have to. It's not an obligated thing that you guys have to do to say subscribe to this channel. At least subscribe and watch my content. That's all I ask of you guys, really. But let's get into the actual point of today's video, which is going to be one of the most confusing videos I've probably ever uploaded on this channel. It's the fact that I don't like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now I want to give a brief history to my experiences with this game and why I don't like it. Now also keep in mind that since I don't like it, I haven't played it in some time. Maybe if I go back around to it, I'll like it, but I haven't played it in probably at least a year or probably even more. That's because I just don't have any desire to go back and play it. And like I said, this is my personal opinion. I'm not saying that the game is bad. I'm just saying that I don't like it. So, like I said, please don't attack me in the comments. I'm going to keep the comments there. I'm not going to delete comments or anything, but just keep that in mind. Don't be an asshole about it. So, I first played Ocarina of Time a long-ass time ago. I was probably like 10, 10-ish. So, about 10 years ago. And, um, I didn't, I couldn't get into it. Mainly because, like, as a kid, even now, I'm a simple man. I am not, like, you know, I, things that are super complex, they don't grasp me. Unless it's something like Harry Potter that I'm already super into, and then they add complex stories to it, fine. But if you're giving me a story that, like, really doesn't need to be complex, then I... I'm not into it. So, Legend of Zelda's story, I never cared for. Um, so, like, I just like to play games to play games. If they have a cool story, that's a plus. But for me, it's mostly about the gameplay. And for me, Legend of Zelda... Uh, I was to say Breath of the Wild. Wow. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, it just started off too slow. It just wasn't a fast, faster-paced game. Like, I would have preferred... Like, like maybe... Because I have never beaten the game. So maybe I didn't get far enough into it to experience the more fast-paced experience, but I've put quite a few hours into it, like, you know, playing it. I just, you know, with, with how confusing dungeons can get and, you know, certain missions that are really cryptic, it, it just takes a while for me to to really grasp it. And as a kid, it was like, you know, like, I didn't use strategy guides, so it was like, I don't like this. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck half the time. So... It just led to a non-pleasurable experience. And something I also didn't like was the world that Ocarina of Time took place. Now, again, it's Hyrule. Not much else to say. Um, but I think Breath of the Wild, for me personally, suffered a little bit from this too. But the world is so... I don't want to say generic, 
But it, it's a typical thing. It's like a bunch of fields, some wooded sections. It's a thing you would expect, you know, like how like the world is. It's how you would expect it to be in a Zelda game. So when I first played Ocarina of Time, I was just like, eh, it's, I don't get the hype. So a few years go by from when I was 10. And uh, then, like, when I was about 14, I started to collect video games because I like video games, and I was like, hey, might as well become a video game collector. So, lo and behold, I, today I'm still a video game collector. Not as much as I was before, but nevertheless, still a video game collector. And I played a game that kind of changed my view on things. A little bit. And that game is Majora's Mask. Not necessarily the 3DS one, it's just the one that I have on hand. Um, now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, crap, he's one of those Majora's Mask is better than Ocarina of Time people, and if that's what you're thinking, then you're completely right, because that's how I feel. I like this game way more than Ocarina of Time. Now, granted, I haven't beaten this game either, but it's not that I haven't beaten it because I have no ambition to beat it, it's because I got stuck in one of the dungeons, and to this day, even after reading up on the strategy guide, I, I can't beat it. So it's just led me to kind of, like, want to go at it, but I'm having so much trouble. So, that's the difference there between Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and why I stopped playing both of them. Only because, for this one, I just got stuck, you know, and I tried to go back at it, you know. But with Ocarina of Time, it was just too slow, and even though I would get stuck as well, I had no ambition to return to it. Like, I played this one a lot more recently than Ocarina of Time, simply because I did want to try it out, and I wanted to see if I could get past it, and to this day, I still have it. Now, granted, I, like, I don't play my 3DS much anymore, and my Majora's Mask, you know, the, the disc for the GameCube, that's packed away, so I, I haven't been able to touch that in years, so I've had to use this, and, you know, it's, it's a little rough, but to me, this game does more than Ocarina of Time in terms of stuff that I would personally like. Personally, the story isn't very complex, there's not much to it, and I kind of like that. Maybe it's because I'm not grasping the story, like the bigger story at hand, but I like it. And I also like the tone of the game, the atmosphere of the game, the day and night cycle. I love Skull Kid, you know, like Skull Kid is one of, is one of my favorites simply because of, um, you know, how he, she, it. I've never really determined the gender of Skull Kid, um, but just Skull Kid's nature and kid-like charm. And Happy Masked Salesman with all the masks. And I love the masks in general. Being able to transform. And it kind of changes up the gameplay a little bit. Rather than just swinging your sword. It changes things up a little bit. And yes, you even get the Ocarina of Time in here. But to me, that was not one of the best things. For me, it was the masks. I loved using the masks. And Deku Link. The look of Deku Link still scares me. I don't know why. But there's something about it that's so creepy. It's like if you made a tree carving of Birdo. Like, it, it, you can see what I mean, right? It's really, really creepy, but I really do like it at the same time. Something I also want to make sure of here um, for you guys, and probably for my sake, is that um, I am not savvy on the Legend of Zelda series. I'm not, like, I'm, I never grew up playing Zelda games. I played Zelda games when I was a kid, but I didn't grow up on them. So I am not, Zelda's not my thing. I don't know much about it. Just like uh, Metroid. It's not my thing. I don't know much about it. You can give me any Mario game and I'd be able to identify it. Even like something like Banjo-Kazooie. I could talk all day about Banjo-Kazooie. But if you give me like The Legend of Zelda or Metroid, I won't be able to tell you much. Um, and this is one of those times where I feel like my point's not going to come across correctly simply because I don't know the series well enough. Um... But, you know, and part of me always thought that maybe I gotta give these games a chance. You know, like, th like this game, you know, yes, it does have the atmosphere, but I still haven't been able to go and actually fully beat the game. And, um, you know, uh, there's one game that actually made me really like some of the Zelda games. It made, it made me grow appreciation for some Zelda games, and that's Breath of the Wild. I love this game. Let me just say that right off the bat. Like sometimes I have I have a struggle because even though I didn't beat this, I haven't beaten this game. I do love this game, and I have beaten this game quite thoroughly. So I mean I haven't gotten every single shrine, but I got every single divine beast. So I played through the game quite a bit. 
And, you know, it's like, I love the atmosphere and the, um, and the overall tone of this game, but I love the fluidity of gameplay in this game and how open the world is and the fact that you can, you know, you can explore basically anywhere. So, it, it, it's like Ocarina of Time does have more similarities to this when it comes to the overall style of the world and all that, but obviously the gameplay is more reminiscent to Majora's Mask. And, um, where was I going with that? Um, I think I was going where, with this game, it's fun, but it's not confusing. Like, there were a few shrines I did have to, like, Google up how to beat, but everything else, it was like, I was able to sit through and play it without any sort of strategy guide. You know? And people say this is one of the harder Zelda games. Like, I've heard many people say that this Zelda game is really, really difficult. And I've beaten this... Yet I haven't beaten this, or Ocarina, or really any other Zelda game. I've played so many Zelda games that I'm like halfway through or more, and I haven't been able to beat them. Those games are this one, Wind Waker, uh, Link Between Worlds, Link to the Past. So there's a lot of games I've started, a lot of Legend of Zelda games that I've started and played through, but I got stuck and cannot beat it. Yet this one's apparently the hard one, and I beat it. <laughs> like, I don't get it. But... Overall, what I'm trying to get at is, I love these games, and for some reason, Ocarina of Time just doesn't speak with me. It doesn't. I don't know why it doesn't. It just doesn't. Now, here's one thing I do want to point out in this video. Like I said, this is a personal opinion. And, you know, we all have our own opinions on things, but it shouldn't lead to hate comments and stuff like that. So, if you're going to leave a comment... If you're going to criticize my opinion on Ocarina of Time, think maybe I've been unfair to it, let me know in the comments, but be constructive about it. Don't be an asshole about it. If you're an asshole about it, I, I mean, I'm not going to delete the comments. I'm not that petty. But I, I, I'll just probably laugh at your comment. Like, oh, you want to give me a rude comment? I'll do this. If you want to give me a rude like, a rude like, wow. Uh, a dislike, just because of my opinion, I'll give you another fat what? And then, if you just want to be a dick overall and give you death threats or hate speech, I'll just go <laughs> right in your face. It's just that I don't like Ocarina of Time. Was my thumbnail a little bit clickbaity? Maybe. Just a little bit. But, overall, I just don't like Ocarina of Time. And that's because of every other Zelda game and what good things they've shown me that, to me, Ocarina of Time doesn't have. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you want to be a big part, a big thanks, um, you know, to my channel, if you really, if you are a person who really wants to see more content, if you're a person who wants to see my channel grow, you can donate on Patreon, and I would love you forever. You would get my Zach heart of approval, but you don't have to. I just thought I'd point that out, because I've had a Patreon for like a month or two now, or probably even more. But I've just never pointed it out. Like, I never emphasize it. So, go check out my Patreon. There's tears there. They're alright. Go check it out. So, until next time, guys. See you guys in the next video.